I just got some mail. So now I'm gonna open the mail. <laughs> oh, oh wait, how am I gonna do with that? I'm holding my cell phone. Because my crappy little webcam up there sucks. Oh wait. This will probably work. I just get started maybe. You can make a big enough hole for me to get into. This envelope's gonna be garbage anyways. Now only I could stop moving it. And there be something good in here. I'm on you. And it be still wrapped in its original shrink wrap. Nice shrink wrap, huh? <laughs> well, what we actually want is in here. Okay. This guy really did put a lot of protection on this. Because it's sort of rare by now. When all else fails, bring out scissors. Eh. I know this is horrible quality, but bear with me. I am not by any means comfortable with doing this, or in the comfortable position to do this. Alright, please say I scratched up enough tape to take this off. I did! Oh, but he wraps the whole thing in tape. <laughs> okay, well that shouldn't be that bad. Cut that. that now we shall open that and look what lays inside if it wasn't stuck to tape isn't it fun watching me open stuff Japanese Pokemon Crystal or the Game Boy Color, which I'll be using with the Game Boy Advance. Bubble wrap. <laughs> this is probably one of the rarer finds. Brand new Pokemon uh, Japanese Crystal. Still in its original shrink wrap. Plus bubble wrap. I'll show more of the box once I get this open. I keep zooming over to my hot chocolate over there, which is now cold chocolate since that's from yesterday. Uh, yesterday, you were the biggest pain of my assist existence. If you live in Southern California, you would know why. <laughs> I guess this thing didn't come in shrink crap. Either that or I'm doing a horrible job at unboxing and I'm accidentally taking off with it. More like unbubble wrapping. Uh, this is harder to take off in the actual box. Of Wait, this bubble wrap, uh, shrink wrap, I feel it. I can feel it! That's what I hate. I need a, I need a video camera. And a better one, too. Or I need a video camera. Finally! Pokemon Crystal. 
Zom, it's in color. I thought red and blue had a little color. Inclusion of the first female character. Didn't 8-bit look so state-of-the-art back then? Now you can hardly see it thanks to my crappy camera quality. Ah, mill tank. No, just says no resale. And it even says here, I think, that this is where you you could plug your Game Boy Color into a phone line and do random battles with other people, which was pretty cool back then. You have your connectivity with the Game Boy printer, so I think you can print out po the Pokédex. It even says here you have Wi-Fi with each other, or connection. It's still in the shrink wrap. How cool is that? It's going to make me ashamed to open it because Japanese and it's still new in the shrink wrap and all. It's like one of the rarer, fi rarer finds. It's going to kill me to open this. Now I'll die for it. <laughs> See, can this box even stand up? Yes, it can. Do you notice anything on the side? It just says Pokemon Crystal and all it's Japanese. Same thing. Wow, Nintendo. They even put their logo in. <laughs> well, it's the Nintendo system, of course. Uh, here it's saying around 35 in Japanese. Uh, the character is your playable female character. Which I think they call Crystal, ironically. No clue where the where the lyra came from in Heart Gold and Soul Silver. This is Game Boy. One of the most valuable, probably a valuable collector's item that I'm now gonna ruin by opening. And this wouldn't be an unboxing video if there wasn't any opening in it. Though, looking at my timer, I spent the last 10 minutes just trying to get this out of the bubble wrap and out of the package. So that was an uh, unboxing adventure of its own. Yeah, I show. Oh, there. 360 view degree. View degree. Degree view? Come on, put words in your right place. Okay, now here comes the fun part. It looks like this is shrink wrapped with duct tape. No, not duct tape, scotch tape. The brilliant boxing of 2001! Eh. Okay, come on now. Oh, wait. Brain idea. I just had an idea. I have my box here. The game. I to leave my cell phone onto here. Then try unboxing it with two hands. That might make it better. And I can't see really. <laughs> Yay, I did. Dang it! Drop the phone. God, how am I going to open this? Okay, let's see now. I don't want you to miss the moment of truth. Jeez, and opening this seems to be eat harder than to actually open the package it came in. This came from Japan. Oh, wrap. If only I was. I hate my dogs. I hate my dogs. I hate my dogs. And then when they're sleeping, they look like the cutest things alive. God. Hmm. You would think scot oh, wait, where am I pointing this? You would think scotch tape for like ten years ago. 
would be a little worn out by now. When all else fails, bring in the scissors. And I don't mean the red one, that's Bug Steel. I think it's Bug Steel. Can I carefully insert it into here? Without damaging the box. Just make a little slit. There we go. Maybe a little bigger one. If any of you guys are collector's items, do you think I should still save the shrink wrap? Well, it and then I'll save the prize because it'll make it more valuable. Should I also save the shrink wrap? Will it add more value to the game? Ah, screw it. Let's just cut it all the way across. I don't want to really damage the box. Or get my finger in the way because of where they put the camera lens. On this brilliant cell phone, and I'm left hand. I'm right handed, so finger keeps getting in the way. <laughs> okay, there. That should make opening this a lot easier now. I can finally feel the in- I can finally feel the box! Speaking of the box, I saw it was supposed to be a brand new Mega Man 4, still in the shrink wrap and everything. It was Rockman 4, technically. The thing looked like it was fished out of the bottom of the sea. And then the guy said, hmm, maybe it was. Yeah. Well, now that this is laying down. Come on, Scotch Tape. You're only... Sc this is only Scotch Tape. It shouldn't be that hard to open. This is becoming such an adventure. Wait. Idea. Yeah, I know, this may seem weird, but I only have one hand to work with since I'm holding my cell phone to record this. There we go. Now this should just carefully... Now I could just carefully peel this off. <sighs> Bloody protective wrap. Anyways, now is the moment of truth. Now that I got everything off. And if this would so kindly stop falling over. Now we shall take our look inside our little box, friend. Or inside the box. They put their faces on the tabs. Again, where the heck did Lyra come from? If she was in Crystal and that stuff. And more importantly, where did she disappear to in Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Okay. This is probably going to be tight getting it out. Or it'll just slide out easily. I'm happy this isn't region locked. Or is it? 
than that shouldn't be. It's a game. It's a Game Boy Color game. I didn't even think there was such a thing as region lock back then. Uh, empty. Ooh, the instruction manual. Let's take a quick look inside. If only I knew Japanese. And if only my friend Shuttle knew how to translate Japanese. Probably background. Let's be good. Table of contents. Probably our Meet the Heroes page. Or it just explains the gimmicks. See pictures of the Pokédex. Rule of Pokemon is probably like that overview of Pokemon. Basic buttons on your Game Boy Color. Since back then there was no such thing as a Game Boy Advance. Or was there? So you got your title screen here and that uh, new game continue or whatever there. God, no one in my house has any respect whenever I want to record something. No clue what that is. I'm just happy Pokemon is one of those games where you really don't need to understand what's going on. Uh, set your clock on top. Pick your character name. Two thousand one, we're still getting out of the eight bit era, yet this was still state of the art. Crystal was in fact the head of its generation. You know, maybe I should ask Yoshiller if I could borrow his Game Boy player for that GameCube. So I could just, you know, play around a little with this basic team up there. Lopoke. What happens if I to zoom in a little? Will that be better quality? No, it does not. If I need to reshoot this part with my webcam, I will. Bags. Pokétech. Map of Judo. Well, it says menu screens on top. That's the only thing I could read. <laughs> Probably your ID card. A little sketch down there. Is this supposed to be the prof? Professor. Or. It looks like a shop here. There's a picture of the Pokemon Center. I freaking hate my dogs right now. Especially my Glen Retriever. Mmm. He's so cute and so vicious at the same time. Anyways, back to this. Radio tower. Buying stuff, I guess. Here's Elm, Oak, and probably Mom. See how many... This is actually a thick instruction booklet. Okay, let's see what else is there. Your backpack. Different Pokeballs. I didn't know they had a heavy ball back then. Berries, which were changed to apricorns, so I think they still do or function as apricorns in this game. Battle scene. 
hopefully in better quality. Uh, wild battle, I guess. There's walkthroughs on the internet. If I can't find my way around this game, I could just look it up. Main thing and reason I got this because it's rare and was brand new. It's an opportunity I couldn't pass up. Paid fifty dollars for this, when in reality this is worth one hundred and fifty. No. Apricorns. See, got all of that. It's the unknown. Skarmory. Yeah, I thought Skarmory was a third gen Pokemon. Is he a third gen or is he second gen? I thought I always thought he was third gen. If he's a third gen, he doesn't belong here. I know what I know a second gen. Creatures, evolution, and the eggs. Pidgeot, 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 Pidgeotto. I forget which one comes first. Names are similar. If only eggs had this much design in them. They all look generic, even on the DS. Here you have your overview of the gym leaders. All in Japanese, too. I do not know exactly what this picture is. Unless that's supposed to be like, you know, in the Heart Gold and Soul Silver, that's where where Global Terminal is. That is where you would originally do like your over the phone line battles. But Nintendo, too lazy to set up in America or whatever, removed it. So that's why you have cut off, and then you have Global Terminal where it is, because that's where you basically do go for Wi-Fi battles. Well, not Wi-Fi, dial-up battles, I should say. Random battles. Let's see, looks like a transfer machine. Wait, I'm zooming in on the wrong page. Trade Center Coliseum and time capsules. I do not know. I think that stuff was all removed in the U.S. version. I do not entirely know. More of the same. I know this is sucky quality, but if I ever do need to, I will use my webcam. I had a wireless one with the longer wire, and maybe it's just. It just wouldn't be in the boxing if I didn't show every detail. You have your toad to dial. Eh, nothing much. Well, this video is almost 25 minutes. Mobile system Game Boy is what that says. Mobile mode. That's supposed to be the Battle Tower? I thought there wasn't anything like the Battle Frontier and Tower until uh, Generation 3. I guess here is how they're showing if you wanted to do, um, probably hook up your game so you can play over the phone line or whatever, probably. There, you all survived the instruction manual. Now let's open 
this up? Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> they put an impression of the little crystal symbol. See the internal battery there. Mm. The only thing I didn't like about the old, about you know old cartridge is that the internal battery dies. I am not entirely sure how the heck you would open this. Anyways, I hope it's still good because it's been sitting in that case for like what ten years or so. Put it in the Game Boy. Is it going this way? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Open this up. Oh, this thing has battery power. I haven't played in a while. Got Crystal's weird intro. Maybe if I wear like this. Sounds almost like a remake remix of the battle theme. I hate glare! I can't do anything without glare! You know we all hate glare. Maybe it's hard to... I don't know, I'm trying different ways to reduce glare. It's probably asking new game or I don't know, so let's go with the first one. Something in Japanese. All in Japanese. Let's see, what time is it? It is Ugh, I can't tell if it's PM or AM. See, that's probably PM. I don't know. I don't know military time. I mean, this isn't military time. Let's just screw it. I'm on a three. How many minutes? It is 3.14. Hey, school gets out. It's 14. He's late. And it's our favorite Pokemon Oak. Pokemon Professor Oak, I mean. Whooper! It's so epic! It's like a liquid crystal. You know you're an epic Pokemon if you could be happy without arms. all in Japanese, so I don't know what they're saying, nor do I really care. 
You should probably have seen this intro hundreds of times, and you actually know what they're saying. Let's see. And there's probably like a five character limit or something. Let's just go with the first name and give you on the list. Hey, didn't ask if I was a boy or a girl. Nah, I'm a boy anyways. So, that's all I have to show you guys with the Pokemon Crystal Unboxing. Still can't find the spot without glare. What happens if I turn off the backlight? That's even worse. So, that's all I have to show you now with the Pokemon Crystal Unboxing. I know it was a little long, but sorry guys. Ooh. Being a witch. There's still some papers here I haven't even I didn't even see. Let's just take a quick little look at it. I think that's the release date. I don't know. Let's see it's a Flyer, so let's try it. Open it. Even got nice Pokemon music playing in the background. Oh yeah, it's saying about connecting your Game Boy to a phone so you can do wireless play. Something Nintendo decided to cut out from the US version. I... Nintendo, why? Why, 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 why? Let's see, what's this little booklet? Yeah. Eh. I don't need this light anymore. Advertisement, I guess. Your Game Boy Colors and Multicolors. Is there anything important on the back? I don't know what this is all for, but they look like link cables. And charger. Oh, it's, you know, like the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, they give you that little instruction manual when you first get a game with it. Or a game. Oh, this is telling you how the car. Oh my god, skipping. Eh, probably the Nintendo Club thing. See, this was December 2000. Okay, so that basically will conclude. I know I didn't save, but might as well do this again. The. Uh, Set up whenever. Anyways, that about concludes our boxing of the Japanese, brand new Japanese version of Pokemon Crystal. And until then, I shall see you guys later. Wow, this is a long video.